Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be creating our own jQuery plugin. Uh, so let's just take a look first of all at the uh, index.php page and just how, uh, well, what I've done with this function uh, and also how I've included it. Now you see that I've included three different files. The first one is jQuery.js, which is our jQuery library, which obviously we need. We've then created our plugin inside plugin.js and we're using this plugin or, or calling this plugin, making use of it uh, using ext.js. So essentially what the plugin is going to do is it will take all of the links on a page uh, as long as you actually call the plugin and it will apply target equals underscore blank. So at the moment uh, you can see that we've just got our normal link. Uh, we can use target equals underscore blank so we can use this target attribute uh, to set where we want the uh, link to open in. Now let's just say you wanted all of your links across your entire page to open um, in a new window. Now it would be quite uh, annoying using target you know, equals underscore blank and I'm sure there are probably easier ways to do this without jQuery but you know that's the example of the plugin. Uh, if this doesn't exist, uh, so if target dot blank, uh, sorry, target equals underscore blank doesn't exist, or the target is equal to nothing, we will add automatically add using jQuery target equals underscore uh, underscore blank. Now, if it equals something like underscore self, uh, we won't be applying uh, the underscore blank, obviously, because the user might have predefined that they want it to open um, in the same window. So we're creating this plugin, you know, just as an example, but it can have uh, useful, um, you know, effects. You can be, you can use this, and it, it would, uh, I guess, do a job that you might have to do manually. So um, let's take a look at it in action on our in our browser. As you can see, I've created this Google um, link, uh, which you can see here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set target equals underscore self. Uh, now what this will automatically do is it will open it in a, in the same window. Now let's go ahead and get rid of this and just uh, show nothing inside of here. Uh, you'll see that it automatically opens in a new window. So we've used this plugin, uh, obviously you, this is all done with ext.js, uh, to add underscore blank uh, in here. Um, now if I was to go ahead and not include anything uh, this will add the whole attribute on for us so it still opens in a new window and we've called this in ext.js uh, I've called the plugin target blank uh, so I've applied this using a selector to all a tags so we're essentially just saying you know any tag that has an a we apply this uh, this uh, plugin to so that's essentially what the plugin does. It's quite a simple concept, but it means we can now use this basic idea to go ahead and create our own jQuery plugin. Uh, and you can obviously go ahead and use this information to expand and create your own plugins uh, if you have a really good idea uh, that you'd like to actually create as a plugin rather than an external file that you want to that you want your users to um, just you know simply include on the page. It makes it a lot uh, better and or well, easier for a user to just call. Uh, this particular plugin name. So let's go ahead and uh, look inside plugin.js um, and we'll start to actually write out this plugin. Okay, so I've gone ahead and blanked this uh, document. Also, we have plugin.js, which is empty as well. Uh, I've still kept the link here because this isn't uh, too hard to create, so I'm not going to waste time by typing it out. But let's take a look at what we need to include uh, once again. Obviously, the jQuery library. Plugin.js is where we're going to define our function uh, or our plugin and actually uh, allow it to be used. Uh, and then ext.js is just going to take all links on the page, as we've already seen, uh, and apply the plugin to it. So inside plugin.js, we need to go ahead and outline the structure uh, of how we're actually going to go ahead and create this function. So let's go ahead and start doing this now. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say function and then dollar sign. And this gives us uh, the ability to use this uh, correctly uh, as we normally would a jQuery plugin. Uh, sorry, that should just have a um, parenthesis there and parenthesis there. So essentially we're starting out with parenthesis like this and then we're creating a function 
uh, with the dollar sign uh, and then we're doing this and just pulling that down so that's just how you might normally uh, view this now after this we need to use jQuery and essentially this means that we can use the dollar sign instead of having to keep uh, referencing jQuery uh, and that clears up a lot of problems that we might come uh, across in uh, in the long run as well uh, so there's there's information about that in the jQuery documentation but uh, you know this is the way we would uh, standardly do it now we need to create uh, our function name and we do this by using a dollar sign and then dot fn uh, and then the name of our function or the name of our plugin so essentially a plugin is just a function it's just called a plugin uh, in jQuery so if I do refer to it as a function then think of it as a plugin anyway so the name that we've called this is target blank remember in the previous part of the tutorial where I showed you through this uh, you could see that I'd called it as target blank so this is the function name obviously it can't override any other uh, function that jQuery has so any other uh, standard you know that's something that's standardly built into the library so call it something unique you might have a catchy name for it or you might just have it something that you know does what it does and in this case target blank uh, pretty much says what it does 